Hi crafty friends. I'm here to share with you today a card that I made using the new Carousel Birthday stamp set and that one is in the Occasions catalogue. So in addition to the Carousel Birthday stamp set, we also have the Cupcakes and Carousels Designer Series paper stack and it is filled with gorgeous paper patterns using absolutely beautiful colours. And here is the card that I have made. So it starts off showcasing the beautiful designer series paper and when you pull this tab, the carousel horse reveals a special message. So I'll show you how I made that card. So we start off with a card base in So Saffron. Now this measures eight and a quarter inches by five and seven eighths inches and that is scored halfway on the long side at four and one eighth. So this is going to be a tent fold card. And then I have a piece of Bermuda Bay. Now this is a quarter of an inch smaller. So that will measure five and five eighths by three and seven eighths inch. And that is going to layer onto there. Then I have two pieces of designer series paper. These are both out of the Cupcakes and Carousels designer series paper stack. And these are going to, so these measure five and three eighths by three inches. And this will be five and three eighths by one and a half inches. So I'm going to go around the edges using my sponge dobber and early espresso. Okay, so when I've got these done, I'm just going to use my snail. Now I'm going to put the larger piece down first. Now I just ran out of snail, so I'll have to switch to another glue runner. And I'm just going to center that so that on three sides my border is relatively even. Now with this piece here, I'm going to line this up so on the bottom the borders are even. And if you've cut it right, those should match up. Now before I cut out my window for my horse, I have a special way that I've done these embossed splatters. So I'm going to share with you how I do that. So in just a tiny little dish, I put in a little bit of Tombow. and a bit of water. And then using a paintbrush, I just mix that up until it's a very runny glue mixture. And then using my paintbrush, I load it up with the glue and then I just, I just tap it on. Apologies for the background noise. My Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, every time I set up for a video, they decide to start playing. Okay, so when you've got that nice and nice and gluey, just sit your card base into a dish or over a piece of paper and then use your embossing powder and just sprinkle it over. And tap off the excess. Now you'll see that it catches all the embossing powder where you've done your little splatters. So now I'm going to heat that up. So once you've embossed, this is what you're going to get. And it has a really grungy, sort of organic feel to the embossing. And that's because when you heat up the glue, it actually bubbles and, and the embossing powder bubbles while it melts. So once you've done this, you're going to take your word window punch and 
you're going to line the edge of your punch up with your designer series paper and then punch and same with the other side line up with your designer series paper and punch and then just move along and punch the rest of it and then you will have this so when we have this we need to work out where our sentiments going and the best way to do that just grab a pencil so lay your designer series paper piece on the saffron and just go along and very lightly draw around the word window that you've made and now we can see exactly where we're going to stamp now I've taken the sentiment from dragonfly dreams and I'm going to use this one here enjoy your special day and using our early espresso just ink it up excuse my head There you go. So just give that a moment to dry and then we're going to erase those pencil lines. Now we're going to create our pull tab mechanism for the horse. So I have a piece of Calypso Coral. Now this one measures five and five eighths by one and a half inches. And we're going to take a small three quarter inch piece of our designer series paper so with our leftover piece from here i'm going to cut a piece that measures three quarters of an inch so i'll go do that now and i'm just going to create a banner on one end and just edge that with your early espresso To create my decorative edge, I've used the Lots of Labels framelits and I'm going to use the third smallest or the middle framelit and that's this one. And if you feed your, frame, your cardstock in this way, it will only cut one end. And this is what we have. So just adhere your designer series paper right down the middle and this bit just snips off. All right, now we're going to use some dimensionals. Now it's important that we create what's called a channel for our cardstock to slide through. Now I don't have any of the dimensional foam strips. They would be absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to use my regular dimensionals and create a guide for my cardstock to slide through. And we are ready to stick that down. And our piece will just slide in here. Now to create a stopper so that it doesn't slide all the way out, we're going to place one of our dimensionals right towards the end of our slider piece. And then we're going to lay another one directly on the top.
So you'll see that will slide, but not come out. I'm just going to pop one of our metal rim brads right here on and that gives it a little bit more detail now for our sentiment I have simply stamped using my stamp and write markers and I have stamped that onto a piece of so saffron now using my decorative label punch punch that out and I'll edge that as well in my early espresso. Now when you place this down we want to place it up near the top center. Now with my horse I have colored him in with watercolor pencils and then gone over the top with the fine tip glue pen and what that does is it creates an enamel coating now this one's not quite dry, but I'm going to stick him down anyway. And when we put him down, we're going to sit our horse towards the bottom, so that the bottom here is in line with the bottom of the card. And that way, it will slide freely back and forwards so there you are guys that is my card for today and I hope you give it a go at home it's really really fun and super effective until next time everybody stay crafty bye